Welcome to the Fret Frontier. Today we will be exploring the five string ukulele. This is a tenor sized ukulele with a doubled G string. So our extra string is an additional G string. We have the high G as the first string in the set and then up above it is the low G. They're doubled. You can play the high G by itself. You could play the low G by itself, but it requires quite a bit of precision because as you can see, they're very close together. This gives you a fuller sound when you're strumming. It allows you to grab that uh, lower G uh, string sound if you're running uh, your lead lines or doing some soloing and, and you want to be able to take advantage of that string. So when you're coming down in your scale, you don't all of a sudden end up uh, hearing a higher sound when you're, you're uh, trying to descend. So it gives you some different playing options. This particular ukulele is a beginning uh, model entry level into this uh, style of ukulele, but it's very uh, well put together in terms of it being very smooth. There's nothing sharp around the binding here. There's no glue on the insides, very uh, clean and neatly done. You get an end pin uh, in both locations for your strap. Uh, you get the enclosed tuners. You'll notice that uh, the tuner has a, a casing on it that is see-through. So although it's enclosed, you can see the gear through that, which is a nice aesthetic feature. It doesn't uh, change your tuning at all. It doesn't help with that, but they're good tuners and it's staying in tune. And uh, it arrived with the action pretty high. So I did uh, do some adjustment to it. I did a setup. You get this nice compensated uh, bridge piece here, but I sanded that down for the action. And also I sanded the uh, nut on the top here to bring that first string down to get it to where I'm comfortable playing it. This also has a truss rod going through it and it comes with an Allen wrench. And I did about a quarter turn to get the uh, neck straighter. So that also helped me compensate my action a little bit. So it's comfortable to play. Uh, it's a uh, laminated mahogany body. And uh, that pretty much covers uh, this ukulele. One thing I wanted to mention about uh, the bridge piece. Now this is a through bridge, so it's not a tie bridge. You have to tie a little knot at the end of your string and uh, you know thread it through the ukulele pulls through and the, so the string is going through the body of the ukulele and then coming up over your your saddle piece here but this uh, actual piece of wood is very rough you probably can't tell from uh, this particular uh, video but it is a unsanded and I mean really unsanded piece of wood so uh, when I was trying to mute with this if I wanted to rest my palm on this uh, saddle here it uh, was uh, I could feel it. It was poking. It's kind of sharp. So I had to uh, sand it a little bit just to round those edges so it would be more comfortable. So um, this is a, a nice entry-level ukulele, but it will require a setup and maybe a little bit of sanding to make sure everything feels comfortable. But the body itself, the neck, everything uh, felt good. I did not have to uh, sand any of the uh, fret bars. That was comfortable to play. I will show you the case and then I'll give you a sound sample. So let's take a quick look at our case here. So this comes with a gig bag. The inside of it is uh, lightly padded. There is nothing that holds the neck, but it stays in because this case is really kind of snug up on the top here. It seems like it's a regular tenor ukulele case. So we've got a little bit of extra space needed for the headstock and you kind of got a squisher in there but it fits and then you have a handle here and then double uh, backpack uh, opportunity over here this is a nice uh, area for holding accessories it actually does give you some space to put something in more than just your strings it has a little bit of a uh, extended profile on there to allow you to get some things you might want to carry around in the zipper is a decent quality. It's not sticking anywhere. You can hear it going all the way up effortlessly and it zips from both sides. So a uh, nice bag. Here's a youth that hasn't 
extra G-string. You can play just one or let them both ring. No matter what you do, you'll still sound kind of cool. When you play the five-string ukulele, Thanks for spending some time with me in this episode taking a look at the five string ukulele. Let me know what you think of five string ukuleles in the comments below and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again.